Hey guys, what's up? It is Bucky, and as you can see, I just got my brand new Mac, and you know what that means? We can finally begin programming in Objective-C. Now, if you're watching this tutorial just because you clicked on it, and you're like, I don't even know what Objective-C is, Objective-C is the language that allows you to develop um, programs in on not only the Mac itself, but also the iPhone and iPod Touch. So that's what I really care about. But in order to just, you can't really just jump right into iPod and uh, iPhone programming. You gotta learn Objective C in the core language behind it first. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this first tutorial. We aren't really gonna be writing any code, but we're gonna be setting up the program that allows you to write the code. So I'm not sure because I already downloaded the uh, iPhone SDK, which is the program to make iPhone apps. But I'm like 90% sure that the program Xcode, which is the program that we need, already comes on um, your Mac operating system Snow Leopard or OS 10 or whatever they call it. So in order to get to the program called Xcode, and this is the program we use to write Objective-C, go ahead to your finder right here and then go ahead to your Macintosh hard drive, then go ahead and click a Developer. Now again, if you don't have Xcode, then um, just like go Google how to get Xcode and they'll give it to you. But anyways, once you're under developer, go ahead and click applications and then go ahead and double click Xcode. And now you see if we X out of this, Xcode out of it, um, we get this little thing called Xcode at the bottom. So go ahead and, well you can double click it, but it's open already. You can either create a new project or you can X out of this and under Xcode or excuse me file you can click a new project either way it does the same thing uh, I just want to tell you if you X out of that box then you know you still have options how to get there but anyways you have a bunch of different things you might not have this the iPhone operating system but you definitely will have this the Mac OS 10 so go ahead and under the Mac OS 10 we're not going to jump into iPhone development yet but we will in future under application make sure you have application and click command line tool now don't just go click and choose yet what you want to do is under the type make sure you have foundation selected by default it's C we want to change that to foundation C is another language foundation we can write objective C so go ahead once you have application command line and foundation go ahead and click choose and now we want to name our new project something I'm going to name my tutorial so go ahead and click save and now you see our tutorial is set up now we're saying alright so where do I start writing code and what am I supposed to do and where do I go from here well what we want to do and this is just to test out the program I'm not going to be teaching you anything in this program excuse me this tutorial just go ahead and click tutorial.m and .m is the extension of um, pretty much objective C program and you know like it's dot C for C and like dot CPP for C++ well dot M is object objective C so by default they already give you a program that's built in all it is is its text on the screen that says hello world so if you want you can go ahead and change the text in beside or excuse me in between the quotation marks but we don't really want to do anything except set up a program and learn how to run our programs because that's what this tutorial is about. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you what all this means and how to code it and all of that fun stuff. But for now, we just want to make sure this runs. So go ahead up here and click Build and Run. And if you didn't mess anything up, then it should say, Alright, debugging of the tutorial ended normally, which is good. And you say, Alright, so how do I see my program? Well, you may have a window pop up if you ran Xcode before. But for those of you who are just watching this for the first time and have never run Xcode before, which you should, start with me. Uh, what you want to do is go up to Run right here and click Console. And this console will kind of give you an input to your program. Now, right now you see all this stuff right here. And this is just, oh, I'll talk about it later on. But what you are focused on is this black right here. Or excuse me, the bold. It's all black and it says hello world if you see this and it says succeeded down here 
then you know you're good to go for the next tutorial and you have Xcode set up properly you know how to open projects and run them and they build compile and run properly if you mess something up say we'll get rid of the semicolon try to build and run it uh, make sure you save and it said failed that means that you messed something up so if you get failed to it means failed with two errors I think it means so anyways go ahead build and run like I said save it and then go to run and console to see your actual program so that's what console means actually see your program work and if it says ex exited with status value zero you know you'll know if it runs because you won't get any errors but that's pretty much the basics of what Objective-C is, how to set up a Xcode project, and where we're going to be beginning. Uh, again, if you don't know how I got here, then rewind this tutorial and watch it again. And also, let me ask you guys, do you like seeing my face in the bottom right hand corner, or would you rather view these tutorials without my face? It's up to you guys. So uh, leave me a comment in this tutorial and let me know which one you like. But I hope you guys have uh, learned a little something, at least how to set up your X Xcode. And, uh, you know, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. And, well, I guess I'll see you guys next time.